we thought this was going to be a key game in the SEC Western Division, maybe not for the championship because of Alabama's uh, expected dominance, but in terms of higher bowl seeding and top 10 finish and that sort of thing when Ole Miss was taking on Texas A&M, but not so much for the Rebels and with Chad Kelly um, out for the season, going to Kyle Field, Dave, uh, a rough one at 730 on the SEC Network. Yeah, uh, backup quarterback uh, uh, matchups here uh, with both teams uh, losing their quarterback last week. Uh, you know, Texas a and with Jake Kubinak, uh 61% of his passes for 350 yards and three scores so far this year. Uh, but, you know, what I think they're going to miss much from Trevor Knight is his legs and the plays he was able to make late in games uh, with some big runs. So I think that's the biggest thing I think Texas A&M is going to uh, uh, miss from that. Um, so, but A&M will be able to rely on their run game, I think, going against this Ole Miss defense. Um, we've seen now uh, LSU, Auburn, Mike and I talked about how much trouble Jordan Southern was going to give them, and, and that for sure happened uh, last week too. So, you know, Trevion Williams is going to get his chances um, to, 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 to run the ball against this Ole Miss defense. And now what does Ole Miss go without uh, Kelly? You know, there's some talk about taking the red shirt off of Shea Patterson. Uh, Jason Pellerin's there now as well. He's looked, he's looked pretty good uh, at times when I've, when I've seen him this year. So under either one of those guys, it's going to be a, a let loose offense just because Ole Miss just can't rely on Akeem Judd to, to run the ball. Uh, the Ole Miss has not been able to run the ball for a couple of years now. It's just not to me in that system for them to be able to run the ball. So it's going to be a quarterback centric offense either way. Uh, I like uh, A&M's situation at quarterback and at running back a little bit better and on defense better. So overall, I still think Texas A&M is the better overall team here. Yeah, Dave, you know, I, I'm with you. I, I like Texas A&M's offense better. Uh, the diversity, Hubinette can throw it. He didn't look impressive against La- Louisville in the Music City Bowl last year. He didn't look overly impressive against Mississippi State, although he looked decent. I think their running game is a little bit better uh, behind a, a, a fairly decent offensive line. I think their defense is better than Ole Miss's defense, particularly uh, against a quarterback that's going to throw. We really don't even know who's going to play quarterback for Ole Miss, and that, obviously that's concerning. Plus, it's a night game at Texas A&M. You got to think Kevin Sumlin's going to have this team refocus after a an incredibly disappointing loss against Mississippi State on the road. Knocks them out of the number four seed. Probably knocks them out of a New Year's Six Bowl as well. Uh, I think that was the big thing that kind of people missed. And, you know, that loss against Mississippi State probably eliminates the Aggies from a New Year's Six Bowl almost assuredly. So I think he gets his team refocused and he tries not to have the uh, the late season collapse they've had maybe uh, in, 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 in a couple of the years uh, previous. So, uh, so I think A&M is better across the board. I think there's just too many questions at Ole Miss with the injuries, the quarterback position, the lack of a running game. Uh, I think the crowd's into this when uh, they, they, they welcome the Aggies back home. It's a great environment. Uh, there at uh, Kyle Field uh, College Station. So I, I like Texas A&M in this game. I like them to bounce back. 